Believe it or not, I've had a number of people over the years believe that it is legal to shoot down a drone because it's flying over your property. Now, as much as it might annoy you, I hate to dispel the myth for you that it is not legal to shoot down a drone if it's flying over your property. It's going to be criminal damage, let alone the offence under the Firearms Act of discharging a weapon beyond the premises. Now, more about that in another video. I'll link some below. But back to the drone. There are a number of different issues at play with this drone here, and there's a number of different arguments as to whether or not it is an individual that's flying it or someone operating for commercial gain out of it, which is very often the case. There is a narrow distinction between the two with significant consequences, as in different consequences. If it's an individual flying this drone by themselves and they are flying it above the immediate airspace above your property, then there's not a great deal you can do about it because they're not trespassing on your property by flying over it because you only control the airspace immediately above that property and arguably enough so that it is not causing you a nuisance. Now, the cases that determine this were for a plane and an air balloon flying across, and whether it was trespass or nuisance in each case. The plane pilot was taking photographs of houses. These were deemed not to be nuisance and not to be trespass because the owners only control the airspace immediately above the property. A different situation, however, if the drone flyer is flying much lower and immediately above your property or even worse within your garden space and filming you in your garden and someone else in your house. That could even amount to harassment if it happened on more than one occasion because it's something that the person of reasonable firmness should not be expected to bear. So if someone was doing this regularly that might well amount to harassment. But also the distinction being if someone is operating this as a commercial entity for some sort of gain or it is not wholly outside of a household activity, thus the data protection and GDPR is no longer exempt, because they would be exempt if it were for wholly household activity, but if it were published online, then it is not likely to be wholly household activity anymore. Thus, the data protection principles and GDPR are going to apply. And unless you can get away with some kind of journalistic exemption, which is only really going to work if that house is of particular interest at that moment in time, let's say the police are doing a search in the area and that's the house they've descended on, you are filming it from above and there's a journalistic or some other kind of exemption because you're reporting on current news events, then that might be different. But even then, you have to make the conscious choice as to whether or not you adhere to data protection rather than just using it as a blanket rule. But generally speaking, if those things don't apply and it's someone flying for commercial gain, then data protection principles are going to apply and any individual within that who is in independently identifiable by that footage is going to have the same rights under the data protection legislation as they would against any other company. But another thing to bear in mind as well for the drone flyer is that they must not cause or permit either intentionally, recklessly, negligently any aircraft to endanger any other person or any other property. And this is a requirement regardless of whether it is just a sub 250 gram drone or whether it's a much larger drone for which they have a license. Either of which they must ensure that it is not endangering any other person or any other property. But in full conclusion, if you are hoping to shoot down or otherwise take a stick walking stick, umbrella or anything else to this drone to smash it out of the sky, then I hate to disappoint you, but that's going to amount to criminal damage and you're going to be the one getting into trouble for it. So if you found that video useful, please do smash that like button and subscribe. I really appreciate that. It helps my channel to grow. And in the meantime, thank you for watching.